Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Shanique Beckford. If you're here for the first time, then welcome. If you have been supporting me for a while, welcome back. I really do appreciate the support. Now today, I have some, I have some topics that I want to discuss with you, but today I'm just going to take the day as it comes. I um, have quite a few things to actually do today but i don't know if i if i will actually get to do everything but i thought since i'm home for the day my husband is on the road um i have the baby um i have just a few things i'm just thinking maybe i could just show you a bits and pieces of what my day looks like um yeah so it's not much as i said i'm supposed to go on the road today have a few things to do on the road a few errands to run but um i'm home it's pretty early so i'm going to get the day started let you guys see what i do on a day-to-day -day basis as i said this is just bits and pieces from my life so this does not contain everything that i would do on a regular day today is an extremely chill day extremely chill day i'm not sure what time it is but um it's now 8.21. It's now 8.21. So I'm going to make breakfast. Um, listen, guys, I don't know if I'm the only person, but I go to sleep very early. Um, so my breakfast is uh, probably a little earlier than some persons. Well, it's 8.21, so it's not that early. What time? Let me comment down below. Let me know what time you guys have breakfast. Or do you have breakfast any at all? No, for me, I'm from a country, right? I'm, I'm from the country, legit. And every night, once you reach like seven, eight, once you reach like six thirty, seven o'clock, grandpa always say, "Okay, close the door, come in. Don't make mosquito come in." And so we we always we always shut in from early. So it's just a thing in me as night come down, more sleep. I am a broke bad bad. Um, I so. I, as literally as it as it turns the night I want to sleep if I have church or I have to be out that's different but once it gets dark outside I want to go to my bed and then my prior time now is in the morning so usually I go to sleep you guys can hear my son in the background so I go to sleep like extremely early probably like 8 9 sometimes probably 10 but most times 8 o'clock I'm off to bed and so I wake up extremely early to pray so I've been up from early 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 like I've been up like my time for prayer is like 3 4 in the morning so I've been up so I've been hungry so most times I eat breakfast very early so let's get into the day I'm um, quite a few things to show you talk with you guys about and let's see what this day has in store so first things first uh what do you guys have for breakfast this morning i'm having some pancakes um some persons prefer aunt jemima um i really don't care but let's go ahead and crack it like it okay so um first of all i'm not a chef I'm not chef i'm not a chef um and i'm not going to pretty anything up i just have a random um ball whatever you call this a random cup with some water and i'm just going to pour it in and mix it out um for this pancake actually it's actually just add water so i don't have to add any eggs or milk or anything like that then i'm going to mix of course i can't mix with one hand um so I use the phone and listen I don't know how these people do vlogging you know if you are a YouTube vlogger if you do vlogging let me know how you do it as I said this is a one-off thing so anyways I'm going to mix this thing out stir this thing out and then I will come back to you guys all right so I figured a way to just put the phone down and try to get this thing going I think I did way too much um, I try not to have a lot in the mornings, like I literally don't eat a whole lot in the mornings. Um, so yeah. Y and Z. J. 
Now I know my ABC. Tell me what you think about me. Hooray! Listen. She. So my I'm I'm just doing breakfast for myself. My son already had a cereal for breakfast. So um I'm just whipping up some thing for myself. He's watching sight words. He's pretty advanced. For two years old, he's pretty advanced. So she's crazy. But anyways, um let me get the eggs. Guys, comment down below. Let me know what it, what do you guys have for breakfast? What is your go-to breakfast on a regular basis? What do you guys have for breakfast? So guys, pretty much this is my finished product. As my teller, no, it wasn't anything too biggity big or anything like that. So just um, two pan pancakes. I cut them with knives so the syrup can seep its way through. Um, a little glass of orange juice and i don't know about you guys but whenever i'm eating let me know if you guys are the same whenever i'm eating breakfast lunch or dinner once i have the time i always try to watch something while i'm having breakfast so if i'm eating i'm watching something so most times in the morning when i'm having breakfast i'll catch up on my um i'll catch up on my youtube videos that um i the people i follow on youtube whoever i'm subscribed to i catch up on videos from them but um if you guys have kids this is pretty much what your youtube your youtube thing will look like because he watches these cartoons constantly so it's it's not even like it's my um youtube channel which is crazy but um yeah so i'm 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 going to go ahead and dig in and then after we'll go ahead and continue this day and i'll show you guys what i do for the rest of my day oh. Here we go. So guys, look who took over my breakfast. Okay, I see you. Okay. Um, but anyways, guys, so today I think I'm going to try doing these. Um so I've tried baking before, it's not something that I do on a regular, but today I'm going to try doing this. Um I'm going to make some pancakes today. So, my husband, I just asked my husband to pick up this little dish thing today, whatever it is called. I got some of these um, cup things. So, <clears throat> alright, so my husband does not like banana, so I'm not going to even attempt to do this one first. Uh, okay, let's go with blueberry. Yes, yeah, so I could probably do blueberry. It says just add water or milk. I think I'll add milk instead of water. So make six. Okay, so I could do one. So what? Okay, great. So that's that's what I'll do in a few minutes. But first, I did a sheen haul, guys. <clears throat> I did a sheen haul. So I think I'm going to show you guys what I ordered. Um, you guys can let me know if you like the stuff. I think I did this last week, but I haven't gotten a chance to necessarily go through everything per se per se so i'm going to just take the time go through and just show you guys what my haul look like it's not a lot but i'll still show you guys all right guys so this is one of the first um pieces uh, i think you guys already saw me um did a video in this piece it's just a regular shirt um can be worn casually can be worn to church uh semi-formally based on how you dress it up so yeah comment down below so for the remaining of pieces that i'll do i don't think i'll be able to try everything on <laughs> i will try but um let comment down below let me know what piece you like the best or what piece you basically what piece you like the best so comment down below and let me know all right so i'm going to try the other this is another piece um crush I, I wore this to church on sunday so pretty much the details are let me put you guys a little lower so you can see better all right so the details um it's pretty nice 
pretty nice um has these little buttons it's like a shirt kind of like a shirt dress in a sense so i picked up i picked up these belts because I, I was i'm no fashionista i'm no fashionista so first of all i got this little cute belt right here and i thought it's clear and gold i thought you know maybe i could dress it up with this little belt um you know or i thought i could use this one there were some butterfly thingies that came on this i broke them off threw them away but this is another one so this is one of the other bills i got they have some really cute little accessory things that are on the side so i got this little build with this white one and i have this other gold one i'll see if i can probably try to show you guys the one i don't know if you can go with it you guys could probably help me well i don't think i would wear it with this particularly um i think it kind of looks okay but i don't think i would necessarily wear it with this one probably a tall dress or something um yeah so comment down below let me know what you think about this one and guys i'll say this i give it to sheen i really give it to them because their packaging is literally top notch like they're not just sending you some random stuff in just random boxes or whatever like they're really putting the stuff together so i give it to them for that definitely all right so this one was another one and this is this i think this is my favorite this is one of my favorites of everything that i got so you guys can see the detailing um it's what do you call this mesh i think um it's pretty lovely the back also you guys can see the back it's not tall so i'd figure um you could wear this with um you could wear this casually you could wear it formally semi-formally because it's short you have to well for first thing if you're going to wear it formally you have to wear something under it and the next thing is because it's short you have to wear like a high waist pants or something with it so it's it's pretty cute i mean it's, it's just cute it's just it's just cute seriously no i like this one i think this is definitely my favorite of all um can be worn formally casually you name it it's just it's just beautiful so comment down below let me guys know what you think and i think one of the reasons why i opt to shop online i opt you guys are low one of the reasons i opt to shop online is when I shop in Montego Bay or Jamaica overall, the things are so expensive here. And it's not just the fact that it's expensive. Um, most times the quality is not good. And then when you do shop for something, everybody is in the same thing. Like literally you buy one blouse and you find like 10 other women are wearing the same blouse. Listen, I've bought things in Jamaica and the moment I see someone wear it, I literally, I don't want to wear it again. And so because of that, where my church stuff are concerned, I started getting the tailor to make a stuff for me. Like I just put my own twist to it, make my own thing. So nobody else is necessarily wearing exactly what I'm wearing. I like to be different. I like to stand out. So if I wear something, I don't like to see somebody wearing the exact same thing. Honestly, Unless it's plan or unless I know you like that but uh, you know I, I don't like the common the commonality the common thing that's that's not my thing I'm out of breath but um I'm going to try on another piece and I'll show you the other ones all right all right guys so this is another piece from Shane um it's just a regular it's just a regular formal shirt um it's a little bigger than I am 
I probably need to take it in a little or maybe it's fine I don't know it's not too see-through but I prefer to wear something underneath um, it's a road neck the, this this is my favorite I am a sucker for details when it comes to detailing I'm a sucker for detail so the arms are just the arms the sleeves rather are just beautiful and these little thing is right here hopefully when I wash it it doesn't well it doesn't look like it would just come off or um, reel out easily or anything it's pretty intact but um, yeah it's kind of like a ruffle what do you call this um, a puffy sleeve kind of vibe um, so it's meant the sleeves are meant to be this way it I, I, I admit it's a little big um, it's a little big but the sleeves are meant to be definitely like this but um comment down below guys let me know what you think it's just a regular top so you could wear it with a high waist jeans you could wear it formally to work to church whatever it is and yeah comment down below comment down below let me know what you guys think about this one your girl is tired but um i have three more pieces let's see what those pieces look like and then i'll just get to the other things i have um that i need to get done today all right all right guys so this is another top um of course i still have on some under stuff um i like it it's cute my anniversary is coming up so the thing is it's kind of cropped it's kind of cropped so definitely you probably have to wear something underneath it or if you're wearing a high waist jeans or something then that's completely fine but I think this is so cute like I think this is extremely 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 cute I like it I really like it um, yeah let me know what you guys think um, let me guys let me know if you guys like this piece um, I think it's pretty cute um, dress I think it is uh, it's it's too big it's just plain simple too big it's very cute but it's too big so um, the back is like this that's the back the front is like this. I have to get these things out of the sides and whatnot. It's it's very tall, like it's really tall. So this is definitely anniversary kind of thing. guys hey welcome back all right so as i said i have some manuals you guys know that i have a school of the prophets and some manuals that i put together i'm supposed to get this manual since last week and i haven't gotten it as yet customer service in jamaica is the worst literally the worst Alright, so I went to this place to get some manuals last week. Um, I paid, normally you can pay like half deposit down, deposit for half the amount. I paid for the entire thing. They did not tell me that the system is down. I have customers that pay that need the manual. Um, I sent for it Friday. Well, I went there Friday morning. It wasn't ready they told me to come back at one I went there like 10 o'clock in the morning they told me to come back at one 
um i said okay i can't come back because i live far from where this place is i sent someone there at three because they close at four and then they're going to tell the person that they called me and told me that their their machines and stuff are down and i'm thinking you did not tell me your your your, your equipment is down if you knew your equipment were down why would you allow me to pay in full and tell me to come back the next morning for it like what why wouldn't you tell me i mean i have people that need this stuff i could have gone somewhere else so I'm just saying the customer service in Jamaica is pretty crappy um for most for most other companies pretty crappy if you guys have ever experienced it let me know and the thing is then they don't have the others to actually call you and say hey um, we have some stuff doing for you. We have a difficulty or whatever it is. Do you still want to do it? Can we refund you or we apologize for the late service or whatever it is? Nothing. And they're not answering. Anyways, I'm calling them one more time. How are the things to do? Alright, nothing. Hopefully they'll call back. I've been trying to reach them since Friday. Haven't gotten them. Comment down below. Let me guy let me know guys. Um what has your customer service experience been like in Jamaica? Like I've literally been to numerous places and the customer service is so poor. And I think most times the employers, the employers, they don't pay the staff properly. And so because they're not getting proper pay, they're not being treated fairly. So with that, they end up treating customers very poorly. Um, and then most times, based on how these people treat you is exactly how the supervisor and the manager will treat you behind closed doors for example i used to work at this company and when persons call and i try to get assistance from the supervisor or the manager or well not the manager per se but the operational manager or supervisor um these people will be like I not take the call, make them go on and so them disgusting and stay and they will, be, they will actually be acting like that. Um, I think we don't understand that the customer is always right. And then when they deal with the customer off the phone, they turn around, they curse the customer, they do like, they're just, they're just so messy. And so when, when, when workers see supervisors acting that way, then they begin to treat um, the customers. The My little love bug. Oh, you love mama? Yeah. Hey guys, so welcome back once again. Um, it's pretty much the same day. Now I have completed doing all that I said I would do and now I'm about to edit this video. I haven't done the pancakes as yet. I'm about to do it um, in about 20 minutes or so. I just want to edit the first part of this video. Then I'll go to doing the pancakes. But um, anyways, I have some emails I need to send out. There are some persons that purchased the manual, virtu um, the soft copy. So I need to send some emails um, to those persons, respond to a few emails for the school and our business and edit this video and pretty much respond to some of you guys comments on youtube i do that in the mornings as well there's something else i need to do i can't remember what it is but i have a f oh yeah i have this book to publish for one of my customers um kind of on a deadline with that one so i need to edit format size her book cover and publish on amazon for her so i have that to do as well after i'm finished all of that so that's that's pretty much a packed day um if my husband comes back to get me soon enough then i have to definitely go on the road to pick up the manuals if these people call me back and say they're ready i need to go pick up the manuals drop them off i need to go and collect some stuff as well from my students for persons that want to join the class get them registered and all of that so it's a it's a packed day if i actually do get to go on the road guys please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel you know make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you are commenting down below make sure you're sharing this video with 
every and everybody so we can grow this channel um help me to get to a million subscribers um yeah we're aiming for a million subscribers eventually it will come guys listen sometimes in life you start things small it's okay to start small it's okay if it feels like you're not going anywhere you're not growing as fast as you would want to that is okay the main thing is that you start a lot of times when you do things it's not for you to become famous or popular or to reach a whole lot of people no sometimes that one thing you do will impact one person and that one person in turn will impact a lot of other persons so it's about making an impact on somebody's life so um that's yeah be encouraged whatever you're doing that it doesn't seem like it's going as fast as you'd want it to it's not growing as you'd want it to it's not accelerating trust the process and trust god some things actually take time when jesus was on earth his ministry started at a you want your mat the mat jesus started his ministry mat i'm coming jesus started his ministry at 30 years old um some of you guys get a prophecy and you want the word to come to pass in about two days so guys sometimes you have to just wait and trust the process so this is my little home office as you can see my husband has his computers and stuff over there um i do my little work right here at this workstation there you go baba this little one wants his little mat to play on. So fussy. You don't want it in here, you want it to go out there, so? I'll bring it out for you in a minute. Uh oh! Come, come to mommy, come. So, listen, for this reason, I don't do a lot of Facebook lives because sometimes I have so. I, I want to go live on Facebook, but sometimes I don't. Well, I don't really like the Facebook thing. But other than that, sometimes I really want to go live and be consistent. But sometimes when, if my husband is on the road, he's working. If I have a lot to do sometimes, it's just so difficult. I just end up not going live. Um, I don't know. If you have a toddler, you, you understand. You truly understand. I don't get days off. I do not get days off. Comment down below if you, exa if you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, for the most part, he's chill. He's chill 99.9% .9, of the time. So he's pretty chill. He's a pretty chill baby, pretty calm baby. He has his days. But otherwise, um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to finish editing this stuff. I'm going to take uh, at least three hours or so, edit and work on this person's manuscript to publish their book. Then I'm going to get on the... Why do I keep saying pancakes, muffins? I'm going to bake these muffins all right so i'll get back to you guys shortly yes baby what happened one two